Earlier this evening, I was forwarded an advisory on a Facebook security where you could bypass it with just a single link. Here's the link to the text of the email. Now, when people are subscribed mobile to Facebook, you'll get a text when somebody makes a comment on your photo, on your link, if they comment after you, and if they tag you in a photo. Facebook sends you one of four types of links. I was able to exploit the fourth link. Now Facebook's intent is you'll get this link in a text message. You're on your phone, you'll click it, you'll see your comment, and then uh, you'll go about your business. However, let me show you what you can really do. I'm logged into my dummy Facebook, and this is my real Facebook. I posted a link earlier. I'm going to put a comment on here. In just a moment, I'll be getting a text message on my iPhone. I have Google Voice, so I'll just copy the link from there. Here's the unique link to me from that comment. Now, as I'm going to show you, I'm logged out of my Facebook here. So I'm going to open a new tab and paste in this link. It brings up a mobile-like interface as if I were on my iPhone and it shows me my comment. However, if I just went to Facebook.com, I'm logged into my Facebook. I didn't have to put in my password, anything like that. And in my account settings, under security, I have a HTTPS enabled, uh, email notifications enabled, recognized devices. In other words, when somebody logs in my Facebook, they have to put in what device they're using. This didn't get registered. My active session could not find current session. An error occurred. So you can't even log people if they're using this link. A good way to turn that off is to go into your mobile settings and I would turn off all notifications that, so you don't get these text messages with these links. Now one thing I did find out though is if you were to bring up, if I were to bring up that link again, so here I'm going to copy it again here. And let me open an incognito window, which means it doesn't have cookies or history. If I try to go to that link again, it forces me to log in. So once the link has been used, it becomes dead, meaning that you have to log in. However, it's still vulnerable, so keep your eyes out for that.